Well, welcome to another edition of the Monday Money Tip. We're trying to help your week be just a little bit better by giving you a practical money tip that you can apply throughout the week and be able to help transform your financial future. Hi, my name is Joseph Sangle, and I'm the founder of I Was Broke, Now I'm Not. And we're committed to helping people accomplish far more than they ever thought possible with their personal finances so they can live a fully funded life. And we're working through a series of common money lies that people tell and we tend to believe in our life. And if we believe them, they can keep us stuck. And so this is the fourth common money lie that we hear. And I just want to address it in today's Monday Money Tip. And that is this, this statement here. I hear all the time it's a money lie. And it's, I don't have any money to invest. I, I meet so many people as we travel all over the U.S. and Canada teaching personal financial principles that people really feel like they don't have any money to invest. They're like, man, it's all I can do to pay for the rent or the house payment and keep the kids in clothes and feed them. And there's just no money extra. I can't save any money. I can't invest any money. And that's a money lie. In fact, whenever we sit down with someone with their budget, almost every time we find ways for them to be able to invest money. Uh, what they're really saying is, I'm not willing to make the financial decision right now uh, to let go of a certain expense so that I can invest that money. For example, uh, if you have cable TV and you say, I don't have money to invest, I've just found a way for you to invest. Cut the cable. I know you don't like it. I didn't say it's forever. I'm just saying for now, cut it. Start investing. Uh, if you have a daily habit like coffee, uh, that you go buy coffee or you stop and buy lunch every single day at a restaurant, I just discovered a way for you to invest money. Uh, if you have uh, a certain habit in your life where you like to golf, uh, if you like, I know I'm get, it, it, it's right at my heart too, but here's what I know. Most people, Nearly every person has a way to free up money to invest it. It's just a matter of prioritizing it. And let me ask you a question. Uh, do you want to retire broke or do you want to retire and be able to travel and to be able to spend your time focused on serving others and seeing your grandkids and traveling the earth? What, what would you rather do? Uh, would you rather leave a legacy through retirement or would you rather live life on the dole where you're having to be supported by your children and by others? Here's what I know. If you don't invest money, Social Security, those programs were not created as a be-all, end-all retirement plan. Ask anyone who's solely relying upon Social Security for the retirement. They're not telling you that's a position of great financial blessing. And so I encourage you to not tell this money lie, to find ways to invest. Don't ever say, I don't have any money to invest. Instead, say, I know I need to prioritize investing and I'm going to eliminate this expense or I'm going to produce extra income by working overtime, getting a second job or by selling some stuff so that I can make that priority become reality that I can invest money. I can invest money for my kids' college. I can invest money for long-term plans, hopes, and dreams like a new house or a trip around the world. And I can invest for retirement. You can have money to invest. It's Monday. I really hope that you will serve someone this week, that you will be able to have a conversation with someone in your family about this common money lie and see how you can eliminate it and make sure that you can get investing in that top priority position in your life. You'll never regret, listen, I never, I've yet to meet a person who said, I saved too much money, I invested too much money uh, for retirement, for my kids' college, for my long-term dreams. I want you to be the first one to say, man, we saved way too much money. Get fired up on a Monday.